Let's start on the diamond. The Chapel Gophers baseball team hit the road to face the Dover Yoda Eagles. The Eagles are in white and the Gophers are in maroon jerseys in the first inning. The bases are loaded. Gophers Carter Schlink hit by the pitch, bringing in the first run of the game. Chatfield's up one to nothing and Johnston makes contact right there. And he is out at first base, but a run scores, putting Chatfield up two to nothing. And on the mound, Chatfield's Caden Boyum gets the catch right there for the out to end the inning. The Eagles get the win, beating the Gophers four to two. The Lord Eagles hosted the Lake City Tigers tonight. Eagles Nick Bowron is at the plate. He drills it to the right field fence. For a double, Lord Isaacs Wenzel makes contact there, gets that one through the infield, bringing in two runs. The Eagles are up two to nothing in the first inning. Lord Ben Ryland is up to bat, and he gets a single to right field there. The Eagles were up two to nothing after two innings. We are still waiting on the final score. And in softball, the Lord Eagles hosted a tough Stewartville Tigers team tonight. The Tigers are in maroon. The Eagles are in white jerseys in the first inning. Tiger Savannah Hadeen blasts that one deep, bringing in two runs, putting Stewartville up two to nothing. And Eagles Boyson with the hit right here. Take a look at that. She drills that one to left field, bringing in two teammates as well, tying it all up at two in the second inning. Tiger Cindy Clark with the hit right there, adding two more runs to the board. The Tigers win big, beating the Eagles 14 to three. And switching to the hardwood, WNBA teams hit the hardwood tonight in preseason matchups, including the Minnesota Lynx. The Lynx hosted the Chicago Sky tonight and got the 92 to 81 victory. Nafisa Collier led Minnesota in points with 17. The Lynx hit the court again on Wednesday night against Washington. And number one draft pick, Caitlin Clark, made some noise in her WNBA debut with the triple right there. For the Indiana Fever, she led the team in points with 21 and added three rebounds in two assists. I thought we played really hard. Um, just a great atmosphere for women's basketball. I think it's a, a good kickoff to the WNBA season. I think the way we played, you know, there's some things we could have executed a little better. I thought we could have got into our offense a little bit better. The pace was amazing. Um, that's fun basketball people like to watch. But um, overall, definitely what I expected. And the Fever fell to the wings 79-76. to in the NBA playoffs, the three-seeded Minnesota Timberwolves are in Denver for the Western Conference semifinals against the two-seeded Nuggets. Wolves head coach Chris Finch ruptured his patellar tendon in his right knee in the first series. Finch had surgery this week and was back at practice the next day. He is expected to be in Denver at some point for the series. The Nuggets knocked out the Wolves last season and are the defending champs. And center Carl Anthony Towns says the team is up for the challenge. We have to be willing to play for 48 minutes at a high level. Extremely disciplined basketball, emotional maturity has to be shown at all given times. And um, just got to play the game of basketball that we've been playing this whole year. Great defense that translates to our offense. And when we get a chance uh, to play offense, you know, uh, be very efficient in that, in that process. The Wolves tip off against the Nuggets tomorrow night at 6 in the first game of the series. In the MLB, the Minnesota Twins got yet another win tonight. That is 11 in a row, the most since 2006. Minnesota hosted the Boston Red Sox. Let's start in the third inning. Twins' Edward Julian gets this one through the infield, bringing in the first run of the game. Minnesota's up one to nothing in the seventh. Twins' Willie Castro with the bunt. Bad throw to second base. Everyone is safe, and Minnesota adds another run to the board. The Twins get the win 5-2. to two. The teams hit the diamond again tomorrow afternoon. First, first pitch is at 110. 